Hello YouTube, welcome to another video by the Geo Scholar. This video is going to be geomorphology related. It's going to be about fluvial geography. My last fluvial geography video was about floodplains. If you want to check that out, look in the description box and click on the link. This video is going to be about meanders and oxbows. What is a meander? Quite simply put, that is a bend in a river, stream, or any other water course. Meanders, that's basically the water's going to go somewhere. And when you're having a river flow, erosion is going to take place. With any river that has to flow somewhere, it's going to take the path of the least resistance. The sediments, the dirt that is the softest, that's going to be eroded first. Whatever erosion takes place, that path is going to be taken in the river and that's where you have meanders. What do meanders have to do with oxbow lakes? Oxbow lake is basically freestanding water. Freestanding, non-flowing water that is the result of a meander. What happens is you have the meanders taking place, these bends in the river, and occasionally you have a situation where the bend in the rivers intersect. And with the bends in the river intersecting, you have the situation where these deposits keep depositing the erosion deposits to the point where that bend in the river, that meander that intersected with another, it's cut off. To get a better idea, look at the next clip, the animation. As you can see, you see how that meander, that water course was going, and then you see the oxbow lake forming, and you see the erosion deposits and stuff. Fluvial geography, it's about geomorphology. It's about the changes that happen on any place in the earth, because geography is dynamic. Nothing is ever static on this earth, rivers included. You're always having the flow of the river, the erosion, that shaping the place. And then you have these new landforms being formed. That's how it works. I hope you found this informative, interesting. I hope you enjoyed the animation. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And click on that bell next to the, the subscribe button because you will get the next time a video comes out, you'll know. It'll inform you of that. You get a notification if you click that bell.